Now on assignment sheet number five, we have interrelationship analysis. And I think this was particularly good practice in analyzing a circuit. In other words, we're going to take one of the parameters in a circuit and change it and see how it affects all the other parameters. I have taken from assignment sheet number five, I have taken number one and I've got it drawn up here. So let's, let's take this situation and see what effect lowering the value of voltage would have on the rest of those parameters. Now I've got the circuit drawn up here and what we're going to do is lower the value of voltage and see how that affects the rest of them. Now, we know that in a situation like this that the resistance values are going to stay the same. Those are fixed values of resistance and they can't change. So we can draw an arrow. Now what we're going to do, we see we're, we're uh, arrow down, that means the value of voltage is going to drop or lower. If we lower it, you see then the value is, or if we point, point it down, the, lower, the value is going down. If we raise it, the value of all the, uh, the, the parameter goes up. If we draw an arrow to the right hand side, that means that value is not going to change. Now, if I lower the value of voltage and the resistance stays the same, what I can do to find out what will happen to the value of current in there. Now we're looking for total current. We're going to take total values of resistance and total value of current. We're talking about the value of resistance remaining the same. We know that the voltage divided by the current is equal to the resistance. If I lower this value of voltage, then my value of current has to come down or in other words, the resistance stays the same. So if the value of voltage drops, then the value of current has to also drop. So we'll, we'll put an arrow down for the total current in that circuit. We know, just as I stated, that the value of resistance is a fixed value. So we'll arrow to the right for total resistance on the second one. For total power, we know that power is equal to the volts times the, times the amps. And if both values are going down, then the value of power has to go down as well. Okay. Now the current through resistor number one, you see when we figure current, we're taking the voltage and dividing that by the resistance. We know that the resistance remains the same. So that in this case, if that stays the same, and we're lowering the value of voltage, then the value of current has to also drop in all the branches. In other words, all branches are going to be the same. The value of current in each one of those, because of lowering the voltage, it has to drop in all of them. So we'll arrow down. Now the value of voltage, we already stated, that the value of voltage is being dropped. So we know that in a parallel circuit, the voltages are the same. So if I lower the total, uh, it means all of them are going to be lowered. So it will look like this. All voltages will drop. And of course, the values of resistances, arrow to the right, they'll all stay the same. Now let's take one more interrelationship analysis before we go on. What I've taken here is number three from assignment sheet number five, where we're going to add one more resistor. We're going to add number four, R4, to that circuit. Now let's see how, how this affects our parameters. Now we're adding this resistor, so what's going to happen to the total current? In this case, you see, we know that the currents are all additive. If I add another resistor, and of course it's going to have the same value of voltage across it, I'm going to have that added value of current, you see, in my circuit. 
So we would have to say raise here. We're going to arrow up for that. Total value of resistance is always lower than, than the lowest value there. The more resistance I more resistors I put in parallel, the lower my resistance goes. We have an inverse effect there. So my value of resistance will go down for total. Total voltage isn't going to be affected in that circuit. We aren't changing that value, so we'll arrow to the side. Total power, we're going to have that added value of power to our circuit for that branch. Those branches will stay the same, but we're adding a branch. that. Volt, remember, power is equal to volts times amps, so the power has to also raise. The value of uh, resistance, you see, for R1 is not going to be affected. 3 isn't going to be affected. 2, two I should say. 3. All three resistances are going to stay the same. The values of voltage on all of them are going to stay the same. We aren't changing that value. The value of current, because the value of voltage and the resistance stays the same, that means the current as well has to stay the same. So we'll arrow to the right on all of them. From R1 on, and we're going to arrow to the right. It'll be the same on all of them. Now let's move on to combination circuits.